hello welcome to module 50 the nptel noc course an introductory course on point set topology part 2 so continuing with the study of ordinals we will now construct an example which is called long line this long line is an example in usually in the study of manifolds that we are going to do in the last chapter here in this course a line word is taken from some topological space which is homeomorphic to let us say the whole of real line or an open interval the long line is going to be something which is locally homeomorphic to open intervals that means every neighborhood has a every point has a neighborhood which is homeomorphic to an open interval but the entire thing is not homeomorphic to open interval first of all okay that is not the whole point we will see that it is non compact it is not even second countable that is the whole idea okay it is hausdorff space so countability axioms are violated here so let us see uh, why this is important i have told you let us see now the details once again we have to deal with uh, both the real line as well as the ordinals the zero will become a con conflicting point notation so restricting the uh, you know reserving the zero for the ordinary zero of the real numbers the zero of the ordinals will be denoted by zero twiddle okay so that is the first uh, uh, remark i have to make here also again we have ordered pairs of elements just like in the previous example of tikhonov's plank so we will continue to use this x cross y for the ordered pair xy not to confuse it with intervals xy okay so this uh, this uh, notation x cross y will continue in addition we will have this zero twiddle is the point the 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 least element in the ordinals okay that is the difference okay so i start with again like just like in the you know, tikhonov plank uh, example you start with zero twiddle omega open cross zero omega open so both of them are open part here Okay, that is the difference. But don't confuse with uh, uh, there. We are taken both of them as ordinals here. Now this is the usual real numbers. Okay, the open interval zero to one. Both of them are ordered. Whenever you have a product of ordered ordered uh, you know posets, uh, product posets, there is a lexicographic ordering. Namely, an element of this one I will denote x cross t. and another one y cross s let us say where x is an element of the ordinals here and t is an element of the real numbers okay so y is first one is ordinal second one is a real number so you say this one uh, precedes y cross s if we don't leave x is less than y in the ordinals or if x is equal to y then t the second coordinate must be less than equal to s okay that is a lexicographic ordering depends upon look at the first letter if that's it earlier than the other word you know words are arranged in this way in the dictionary that's why it's called lexicographic ordering or dictionary order so clearly if you define like this this brick is a total order on on l because if you have two elements here first you can compare x and y okay if x is less than equal to y so you going to you arrange them first of all then you go for if, if they are equal then you go for the second one that's all 
so it's always total order no problem because both of them are total order take the corresponding order topology as we have defined earlier by taking left trace and right trace right then this l comma tau this tau with l less than or equal to is called long line long ray because there is a closer part here so it's a long ray then you remove zero twiddle cross zero the initial point here throw away that point that is called a long line it is just like closed interval 0 1 is a ray and then open it to zero one is a line <laughs> okay that's all so that is the difference between long ray and long line this is just a terminology there is nothing uh, nothing uh, you know big deal here you could have interchange the uh, definition that's not good because this is a ray you can think of this also as a ray of course but this is called long line okay now i will define one more thing here without much effort what i do i take two disjoint copies of l let's call them l1 and l2 and take the quotient space this uh, you know font l you know euler font l obtained by identifying the 0 1 with 0 of the second coordinate okay Zero one cross zero, you can say, and zero two cross zero. Okay, those two points are there, right? Zero because I have taken two. Uh, I have taken two copies. The copies I am taking this one. Okay, you identify these two points where zero will I put one and two are copies of zero. Okay, we shall call L the longest line. it's just if you have this longest long ray take two copies of that one copy reflected and the initial points are identified so this join them so that is the meaning of this identification so that will be called long longest line <laughs> okay i i will justify this name later on when you are justify this line long line this could be uh, you know why this long line long longer line okay you will see that this longest there is no other uh, uh, bigger than line which you may call it as line that is the whole idea we shall implicitly identify the original space 0 comma 0 uh, twiddle comma omega with the this coordinate space namely the second coordinate being 0 this is a real number okay so i will not have cumbersome notation every time cross zero i don't have to write so that is my l not okay omega to cross omega cross the singleton zero that whole thing is in the long line l okay so i am identifying this zero twiddle comma omega with this subspace under the identification x goes to x cross zero just to save ourself a little bit of time and cumbersome notation that's all all intervals initial segments etc will be with respect to this new order prick on the product space inside l and inside the larger, larger space for example now lp bar will denote all the elements inside q the q itself is you know denotes an ordered pair right which i have to write it's x cross t or some such thing but all those q such that q is less than or equal to p this will be the the closed uh, left ray right similarly closed right ray all those things with respect to this order you have to take not with respect to zero omega or uh, in the zero zero infinity so they are themselves the sub uh, sub uh, partial order because uh, the extended thing is a lexicographic order 
So here is a caution. Though we have used the Cartesian product notation for the underlying set, the topology is not the product topology. The topology is defined by using the lexicographic order, right? That is my tau prick. It is tempting to describe the long line as obtained by taking disjoint union of closed intervals index over 0, comma omega, that is ordinals, and identifying the endpoint x cross 1 with x plus 1 cross 0 starting point. Because, see in the, in the total order, what is the next element to x cross 1? Okay, x cross 1 itself is not an element, first of all. So, we do not have, we have to put, suppose you put x cross 1 also. That means, in here in the product definition, I suppose I take this closed interval here then what will be the next element to x cross 1? It will be x plus 1 in the notation of ordinals cross 0, right? So, you identify them, then uh, duplication will not be there. So, you can think of as if it is this point 0 is not here, okay? So, that is a, another way of defining Many people, when they give popular lectures, they do that one. That is, uh, what I want to tell is, that is, strictly speaking, a wrong explanation. So, it is not quite good to explain it that way. Because, that picture is good only in the initial stage, namely 0, 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1 plus 1 and so on as soon as you give limit of ordinals let omega and so on, the picture will be complete failure. Okay. So, there you have to strictly follow this rule. Okay. Better define it this way, take the lexicographic order in, take the order topology. Okay. So, Note that for any x belonging to L naught, the closed interval x comma x plus 1 inside L is order preserving homeomorphic to the closed interval 0, 1. If I take x cross 0 to x cross 1 open, that is a nothing but x cross 0 comma 1 open. The next point will be precisely x plus 1 cross 0. So, you put that one. So, this this interval, okay, interval as an element inside capital L here, curly L, is order preserving homeomorphic to the closed interval 0, 1. Okay, if you throw away this point, this point, it is open interval 0, 1 by the very definition. So this this is the one which uh, used in the in the in this wrong uh, explanation, of course. Okay, but this much is correct. But by using that globally, you will get a wrong picture. So uh, that picture will be good only in parts, not not full picture. Second thing is the fundamental property of L that we are interested in from which many other properties follow okay, is this property A, capital A. For each P inside L naught, that means what is some x cross 0. Okay, I am just having a simpler notation here, P belong to L naught. Not equal to 0 twiddle, okay, something, something beyond that. We have look at the left ray LP bar, closed left ray, this is order preserving homeomorphic to the interval 0, 1. Okay, so, let us prove this one. For instance, 
we can then immediately conclude that i am i am telling that this is the fundamental property once you have this one you can have this a prime sometimes i will use this a prime so this can be immediately derived from a let us see how we can conclude immediately that for each p prime which is now p cross t the t is now not zero okay this lp prime bar is homeomorphic to again closed interval zero one by the way homeomorphic you know i say all that you have to see is that it is homeomorphic to some interval closed interval all closed intervals are homeomorphic to each other this we have seen several times okay for how do you do that this lp prime bar is nothing but lp bar union this vertical line segment right p cross 0 comma t up to t up to t up to t we have to go up to t right so this is already homeomorphic to closed interval 0 1 okay that copy cross p p cross 0 is a common point and this is homeomorphic to 0 comma t the usual interval in the real line so we can put them together you will get a homeomorphism 0 to t plus 1 instead of 0 to 1 okay and then you can rescale it okay so get to get a uh, homeomorphism from lp prime to the entire of 0 to 1 again so this you can just divide by 1 by 1 plus 2 all right so as a consequence it follows that this l is path connected by the way why this is homeomorphic to this one uh, this is again the same thing so you see you have to just put them together so one line another line another line another line and so on for each p belonging to l not it is a countable union right so countable union of closed intervals can be again made into a closed interval <laughs> okay so how that so that's what you have to show i find right so anyway so here as a consequence it follows that l is path connected because first of all you can join every point to zero zero twiddle can be joined to every point inside l you see remember our order this uh, zero omega has lots of discrete points now those things have disappeared because on each point you have a line a vertical line and the end points are identified end point of the top point and the bottom point next top and point they are identified they are they are near they are not identified uh, i have de deleted the top point uh, in my definition so they are uh, close to each other so this is what is happening here so so what happens is l is path connected because everything can be joined to some x cross 0 from x cross 0 you can go vertically to join it to any x cross t so as a consequence of a it follows that uh, as, a, as a as well as a prime it follows that l is path connected path connected is connected of course okay not only that it's locally homeomorphic to an open interval in r right except the starting point 0 twiddle cross 0 at that point we have neighborhoods which are homeomorphic to half closed intervals okay once something is homeomorphic to a closed interval a to b everything in the middle in the between strictly inside they will be home they will have neighborhood homeomorphic to open intervals only the end points have the problem right here the other end is not a problem you can keep going uh, further and further but the starting point will have a problem that is only half 
and that is why in the definition of long line we are deleting this point that is solved ok. So, let us prove property A we have not yet proved that one huh? I have indicated it already suppose the property A is not true for some x belong to L naught ok what does that mean. So, if you take set of all points such that this A property is not true that is a non empty set. So, non empty set will have a least element. So, let y be the least element of all such elements. If y equal to some z plus 1 that means y is a successor for some z naught z inside L naught then we will have L z bar is homeomorphic to 0 1 that we have seen because up to L y bar is homeomorphic ok because this is the least element for which this is not true see what was let me just see you have got a which is not true and you have then you have to take the least element ok. So, if y itself is a z plus 1 z will be smaller than that that means it is true for z that means we have a homeomorphism from l z bar to 0 1 ok then we can rescale it and as we have seen earlier ok and go all the way up to y also so that will be contradiction ok. So, if it is not y is not z plus 1 means y is a limit ordinal all right. So, that is the harder case what happens suppose y is a limit ordinal what does it mean we have seen that there exists a strictly monotonically increasing sequence section in L naught which converges to y ok. So, now is the question how to see for all these actions the hypothesis will be true right A will be true only thing is uh, for the limit what happens that is what question right. So, we may assume that let us say we have we have can always add some more points x naught is 0 twiddle from A we have for each this capital A we have for each x n ok n greater than 1 there is an order preserving homeomorphism h n from L x n bar to 0 1 ok. So, all these x n's are smaller than s that is why this is possible. Now, you take h of x n plus 1 h of uh, h, 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 h of n plus 1 of operating upon x n equal to a n ok for each n greater than equal to 1. So, I am defining this a n ok choose an order preserving homeomorphism alpha 1 from 0 1 to 0 half and for n greater than equal to 2 alpha n from having defined uh, up to this one you take a n minus 1 a n minus a n is defined like this right a n minus 1 to 1 to 2 power n minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 power n to 2 power n minus 1 minus divided by 2 power n ok. So, this is of length 1 by 2 power n. So, define h you can always rescale right any two closed intervals are homeomorphic. So, take you choose this homeomorphism order preserving homeomorphism define h from now L y to 0 1 by patching up all these alpha n composite h n's namely I will define h of p to be alpha n composite h n of p for p between x n minus 1 and x n x x naught I am starting 0 naught ok 0 twiddle then x 1 x 2 and so on between x n minus 1 and x n ok if p is there you define it by this method 
okay on the end points these functions coincide okay so this you can easily see now that up to s you are no problem okay sorry up to y how what what i should take h of y h of y to it as 1 remember if this is between x and it will never be this function will never be equal to 1 because it is always something 2 power n minus 1 by 2 power n so 1 is 1 is not yet uh, cover so you take h y equal to 1 it is easily verified that this is an order preserving homeomorphism the whole point is that all these 2 power n by 2 power n as n tends to infinity will convert to zero convert to 1 okay so that is why if you define h y equal to 1 continuity comes bijection if you take open part okay here throw away y it is already a bijection and so you have come you have just uh, you know concatenated uh, one after another homeomorphism so it will be a homeomorphism when you take one more point so both these elements convert to t converges to one then uh, this y uh, this h of that will convert to one so you will get a homeomorphism like this so t uh, sorry Uh, when uh, p converges to y okay h of uh, p as p converges to y will converge to 1 that is why this is continuous once you have a continuous bijection okay then you can show that it is a homeomorphism here there is no problem therefore a is true so i recall i i took two different cases namely this y is uh, as a limit ordinal not a limit ordinal y is a limit ordinal okay so there are two cases so we have proved the part a so from this one rest of the topological aspects will fall on notice that the argument we have used above is nothing but the principle of transfinite induction though we have put it in the language of proof by contradiction we could have easily put it as follows property a is true for 0 twiddle plus 1 so that's easy to verify okay suppose it is true for all x less than y then the construction of h as above okay shows that it is true for y So that step is, of course, you have to do. Okay, assuming it's less than, it's true for less x less than y. Okay, then you prove it for y. So that is the part. Then it will follow that it's true for all. Okay. So here we have used a different language. So we have got a suppose it's not true, and then take a list of other one. In other words, what I have used, we have used the, the well ordering principle there. You see, right? so we don't have to go up to principle of transfinite induction that's all so this l is clearly hausdorff okay there is nothing to prove here because every order topology is hausdorff l is not second countable this is the point we have come now because it has uncountably many mutually disjoint open sets singleton x cross 0 1 the vertical line segments open segments they are all open intervals in l so therefore they are all open and they are all disjoint with each other and how many of them are there as x ranges over 0 to comma omega there will be uncountably many in an in a in a topological space if you have uncountably many disjoint non empty open sets at each point you can take a uh, select a point that will give you an uncountable discrete set uh, that is not possible okay so second second countability uh, is violated so l is not second countable if we extend l 
by by one more line you see on omega omega close we don't have a line you put one more line here okay then it is not path connected namely <laughs> there is no need to put one more line you just hello omega omega twiddle cross zero this capital omega cross zero take l hat to be this uh, l union this capital omega cross zero okay one more point then the same electrical graphic ordering and all that okay then this will be a larger space than l and that is not path connected so that is what i am going to prove it namely there is no path from 0 to cross 0 to omega cross 0 we know it inside 0 uh, to omega because that is, there are too many discrete points here but this is this path is inside l there is no path this is what we want to say for suppose you have a path path means what continuous function from a closed interval we can assume 0 1 to l hat joining 0 to will cross 0 with omega cross 0 since every point in l hat in fact except the starting point namely 0 to will cross 0 there's a cut point in particular all the points x cross 0 where x range range over 0 twiddle open omega open they are all cut points if you have a path from one point to another point and there is a cut point which separates these two points that means and if you have path the path must go go through that one this is like uh, just a uh, intermediate value theorem right <laughs> so we are using intermediate value theorem here for that all right so it has to go through that one that means what you have uncountably many points discrete points inside 0 comma 1 that is not possible okay so i i make it much more uh, clearer here so your cut points follows that the image of tau image of tau must be compact then contains the whole of l because all those points are there every point so they they must be in the image of tau by that intermediate value theorem the subset singleton x cross 0 1 the open interval they are uncountably union of mutually disjoint open subsets okay and there are the inverse images in 0 1 open under tau will contradict the fact that this one is second countable zero one open is second countable again you have produced infinitely many disjoint open subsets so this if you just add one more point you will give you a path connected space whose closure is not path connected okay we have seen such thing by topology sin curve also that is not a great thing but this example also gives you that okay <laughs> yeah what we observed above implies that the one point compactification of l is not path connected in fact this if we add just one point here instead of 0 1 that will be again a one point compactification of this one that will be compact space okay so one point compactification of a path connected space is not path connected okay that is the stronger conclusion than saying that closure of a path connected set need not be path connected okay in particular no neighborhood of the point at infinity is homeomorphic to an open interval i am talking about one point compactification in this sense we cannot extend l beyond the far end 0 this omega cross 0 1 okay if you add one more point here there will be a problem this was 0 1 we can extend but there already there is a problem however we can extend l 
at the initial point 0 to will cross 0 that is what we have done indeed this uh, Euler, Euler notation L is the answer okay on this side I can extend it for the same reason as before it follows that L cannot be extended any further on the left hand side also the right hand side you cannot extend we have seen on the left hand far end you cannot extend it so this is completely saturated in that sense therefore this L is called the longest line so note that each point of L has a neighborhood homeomorphic to an open interval okay and that is why it deserves to be called a line it is the longest line because you cannot have another longer than this one of course this will be sec un not second countable either because even the subspace this uh, curly l is not second countable okay so we this will with these uh, remarks and uh, the great results here we have proved this chapter comes to an end the some of the lessons which you have learnt here some of the results we will use it in the next chapter also this example l itself will be repeated you know in a quoted as a uh, you know illustration of the the hypothesis that we put namely second countability in the definition of manifolds later on thank you